So it's very early Sunday morning. I'm a bit worse for wear. Don't look too closely. I was out quite late last night drinking and I got up early to come to a boot fair for my next project. So fingers crossed that I'm going to get something. Look at all these cars and people. Obviously, car boot sales are big business for someone. There's so many people here, and to say it's so early on Sunday morning, um, people are leaving already. We might have missed all the bargains. <laughs> exciting project to do today um, which I'm going to enclose a couple of clips and I'll look at him. Excuse me, excuse me, we're filming me now not you. Um, what was I saying? Yes, I've already, I'm going to enclose a couple of clips of yesterday um, and here we go. So yesterday I visited the boot fair and it was a successful trip. Let me show you. No, 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 no. Okay, I've obviously got a little helper today. So I'm going to show you what I bought yesterday at the boot fair and then it will all become clear. My first purchase, well I don't know what order I bought them in, but This is a really lovely teapot actually. It's the Queen Vic from EastEnders. That was the most expensive one. I think I paid a pound for all of these, but this was a fortune, this was a fiver, but I thought this was worth it. This is what I actually wanted, this really traditional shape and colour. That was a pound. Then another brown one. This is made of tin. Just a white one. Oh, this one's really pretty. This is more my sort of thing. Um, oh, it says forget-me-not on it. They must be forget-me-nots. And what's this one? Oh, right. This is an, another little brown traditional one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I bought seven teapots yesterday and I bought these succulent um, plants from the gar from not from the garden centre, from the boot fair. These were £1.50 each. And then I went to the garden centre just to get some um, petunias. So, they were a fiver. So, all together, what did I spend? 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21 pounds for this amazing project that I'm going to be doing now. So I am going to drill holes in the bottom of the teapots and plant them up with pretty flowers and display them on my windowsill. I just thought it was something a bit different than a boring old window box. Um, my window boxes seem to have cracked and smashed over the winter, so I just thought it'd be nice to do something a little bit different. I still love my toasters. I've got a couple of toasters dotted around the garden and they, they always look lovely. So I thought I might do the same with the teapot. So here we go. The trickiest thing is going to be getting the holes in the bottom for the drainage. Okay, here goes. I'm going to try it with this one first because this was my least favourite teapot. So if I smash it, I won't be devastated. Now, um, I'm using gaffer tape. This, this is to stop it slipping. And Phil ordered me this special drill bit. It's suitable for porcelain, granite, quarry stone, terracotta and ceramic. So this, this looks really different to a normal drill bit. I think that was about £7. 
So here goes. It's nice and firm. Right, now Phil has instructed me to start at an angle because apparently when I put this on it's going to just slip all over the place. So I've got to start at an angle till I've got a bit of a groove in and then once I've got the groove I can then put it this way and go through the teapot. So let's see, I think I'll have to stand up. I'm in business. Okay, I've made a little groove. Right, I need two hands to do this. So, could I have an able assistant? <laughs> Phil's hovering on the outskirts like um, an anxious parent watching a toddler swim for the first time. But I can't do this. I do. I needed to hold it. I won't chop your hands off. I'm real. I won't. That's rubbish. Okay, so that didn't work. So now Phil has put in another drill bit. So that is the hole with the original special drill bit that wasn't an actual hole. Those are the two holes that Phil did and that's my tiny, it looks like a tiny little blackhead. I'm going to have to rethink this. You're going to have to do it for me. I'll do for that. Woo! Right. <laughs> oh look what happened to my favourite one. Oh shame. Right, okay, he's doing the um, the Queen Vic teapot now, which I don't want this one to smash. And this one feels more delicate. Okay, here we go. Let me just do the last hole. Yay, I did it. All my own work. Sorry, I hate to admit it, but I did need Phil to do all the drilling. I did one hole in this, what, in this pot. It's very, very thin. Um, but never mind, um, it's done so I can get on with the fun bit now. Okay, I've got a bucket here of all uh, oh, that's heavy. of broken plant pots. So I'm going to put a few crocs in the bottom. So this one that he broke, um, I'm just I've just put like a big, well it's not very good, like a piece of broken pot in there, and I'll probably stand this on a saucer. Okay, I thought this might be a nice little touch. I can't do it with this one because there's no lid. I love that little touch. That's pure genius. If I may say so myself. Let's see if it can come out of the spout. 
Looking at the spout. <laughs> oh, I'm so delighted. I think they look amazing. Do you think all the spouts should be in the same direction? I don't. And look at the water seeping through. It even looks like spilt tea, which I quite like. <laughs> Okay, I hope you like them as much as I do. Well, I don't actually care if you do or not because I'm, I'm delighted and especially those flying lids. We just love these teapots, don't we? Don't we, Mr Bojangles? Oh yes, they're so pretty. So I hope you like them. Bye! Here are the, the flowers. Don't they look pretty? If you don't fancy putting it on your windowsill, you could always do something like this with them. So this is an old pair of step ladders that just look gorgeous. And look at that handsome little fellow. Look who is watching. Caraticus. Caraticus, my boy.